things and stuff. Hello, tiny computer camera. How's it going? Ooh, lighting is very dramatic today. Happy Sunday. That means it's good because it's a day off, but it's bad because it's Monday tomorrow. So, fun fact, um, I had to wait to make this video until everyone was out of the house because I feared that I would look completely crazy. You'll see. And also, uh, look, no facial hair. I feel like I should probably give an epilepsy warning for my facial hair. It kind of flashes on and off so much. So, I've been thinking a lot recently about uh, personality and how we like to classify ourselves. Or we like to place ourselves in little categories. We like to have star signs. We like to be in Harry Potter houses. Although Harry Potter houses are for real. But really, how valid are those? Um, so there is one particular measure of personality that I really, really like. There was this guy called Isenk, and he came up with like two main measures of personality. So Isenk basically had two different levels. One of them was going from normal to neurotic. I mean, normal is a weird classification. I basically mean it's just not neurotic. Calm, maybe? The other one was going from introvert to extrovert. And that basically means you have these like four quadrants. And in those four quadrants, uh, you can then fall. You could be a introverted uh, neurotic or you could be an extroverted normal person. I'll put a link to a test below so that you can test yourself. Every time I have done this, I've come across with the same classification. I think it's really accurate but I also think it's a really difficult classification to come to terms with. And this is why I had to wait till I was on my own, because this is where I look totally off my head when I have an orange juice party with myself. Okay, okay, let me explain. So I was thinking about the four different combinations of, of those traits that you can have and what that means for people. So I was thinking, how would this affect people in like a dinner party situation? So first of all, you have what I think most people would imagine to be the ideal personality type, which is the extrovert calm slash normal person. Now, the extrovert calm slash normal person at a dinner party is going to be telling all the jokes. He's going to be confident, happy, relaxed. If someone doesn't laugh, it doesn't matter. Something a little bit like... Q classy dinner party music. And that was when I got the promotion from the Bond dealership. Oh, Sophie, hi, how's it going? I'll be with you in five, sweetheart, all right? Here's one for you. What kind of cheese do you use to hide a horse? <laughs> Mascarpone. <laughs> Cocky wanker. Anyway, um, the other classic type is the introvert but calm, relaxed type. So this is the kind of person that you see who's a great listener, who doesn't necessarily like give much to the conversation. They don't need to be the center of attention, like the um, extrovert calm guy. But at the same time, they just have a natural calmness about them. They're really comfortable being themselves. So be, they'll be the person at the party that's a little something like this. Oh no, thank you, Samantha. I'm actually fine for orange juice right now. I'm just listening to Gary's wonderful conversation. And then you have the other type, which I guess a lot of people would feel is quite a negative one, which is the introverted neurotic type. So this is the person who is terrified of social situations. Um, I'm guessing this is your classic social anxiety um, type. This is a person who finds parties really, really uncomfortable. And that's going to go a little something like... Now, I have friends that fit into all of those three types. I guess they all have their benefits and their negatives. Um, but the personality type that I fit into is that last quarter. Um, and it's actually the one that I actually find really conflicting and confusing. And that is the extroverted neurotic. And being extroverted and neurotic looks a little something like... Hey, hey guys, um, have you heard the one about the, uh, the cheese? The, uh, no, it's, it's a horse, but he, like, he likes cheese. Well, the, the cheese, um, it's a joke. I, I think it ends with horses. So basically, I'm a person who scores kind of pretty high on the extroversion thing. I like to be the center of attention. I like the sound of my own voice. I like hitting my laptop so it wobbles backwards and forwards. But I'm also terrified of being judged. Um, I'm constantly judging myself and I'm incredibly anxious. So it's like these two 
massively conflicting personalities fighting against each other. I mean, one side says, me, 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 look at me. And the other side is much more... Have they gone yet? So, away from the dinner party setting, I'd always be the one at college to put my hand up, and then when the lecturer would finally ask me a question, I would suddenly come out with, I think the answer is... I think I just wet myself. So, I guess my big question is, where do you fall on those particular character traits? If you were to measure yourself first from calm all the way to neurotic, and then all the way from introvert up to extrovert, which two points would you be placed on? Which quadrant would you be in? Also, are there any more um, neurotic extroverts out there? Because, seriously, it's tough. There aren't many of us, and I don't know. Any tips would be awesome. I will make another video soon. Until that, have an awesome week. If you liked it, click subscribe. If you want to make a little comment, go ahead, give it a like. So, until next time, guys, see ya. Maybe you've been crazy, but have you ever been having an orange juice party with four split personalities? Crazy. Oh,